Well, look, we are still really a long ways away from any final deal. You heard Senator Marco Rubio over the weekend. He's a key figure in negotiations. And what he said is that it's premature to think that the Gang of Eight has reached a final decision. The Chamber of Commerce is also saying that the group of senators that are crafting the language, they're going to ultimately have the final say. But yes, it has cleared a major hurdle and lawmakers and the White House are optimistic that we will see a final bill when Congress returns next week. Now, this was hatched in a phone call Friday evening with Richard Trumka, the head of the AFL-CIO, and Tom Donahue, head of the Chamber of Commerce, New York Senator Chuck Schumer. He was there as well, and then he called White House Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough to tell him about this deal. With the agreement between business and labor, every major policy issue has been resolved on the Gang of Eight. Now, everyone, we've all agreed that we're not going to come to a final agreement until we see draft legislative language, and we agree on that. And so I am very, very optimistic that we will have an agreement among the eight of us next week. And Betty, this would apply to visas issued to foreign workers in fields such as construction, restaurant, hotel work. What does each side get? Well, labor gets data-driven accountability in the system. Labor leaders wanted to make sure that workers would not be paid less than the median wage. They wanted to protect U.S. workers. And what does business get? Well, they get a more flexible uh, new worker program. Uh, Juliana, what are some of the details, as you know, about this deal? Well, one, we know that it would allow a path to citizenship for workers once they arrive. It would also establish something they're calling the Bureau of Immigration and Labor Market Research, and that would use labor market and demographic information to identify labor shortages and help set an annual visa cap. It would be funded through registered employee fees. Now, it would also create a guest worker program called the W Visa Program. It would be for employers looking for workers in low-wage fields. It would also let workers uh, petition for permanent status after working for one year. And there would be about 20,000 visas allowed for the first year. It would increase each year. In the fourth year, it would get up to 75,000 visas. And by year five, that number would grow or decrease based on a formula that also includes the unemployment rate. Now, it could never exceed 200,000 visas per year. And construction visas would be capped at 15,000. What that does is it addresses the concerns of labor, uh, more skilled jobs like crane operators and electricians are not part of the program. But Betty, remember, this is only a starting point. As one member of Congress said over the weekend, they still need to cross all the T's and dot the I's. And we wouldn't be looking at a final bill until this summer at best. And this pro process is probably going to be taking a number of twists and turns along the way.